Live from 42nd and 2nd, this is New York's very own PIX11 Morning News. Coming up after the break, we're back with our I Want to Know guest with today's question is... Throw it up on the screen for me. There you go. What do mediums actually see, feel, when spirits communicate? And how do people with that ability realize they have that gift? Time to reveal our surprise celebrity guest. So we're answering Hazel's question today of what do mediums actually see and feel when spirits communicate? And how do they even realize they have that gift? Your clues, psychic medium, reality TV personality, and when heaven calls. So, if there is some, uh, if, so here's the thing. Uh, as seen on his TV series, he has a passionate family and a huge celebrity following. By the way, 2.5 million followers on Instagram. Wow. No big deal. He's also the best-selling author of When Heaven Calls. And he is here to answer this morning's I Want to Know question. So please welcome psychic medium Matt Frazier Woo! to the show. Good Hi, Matt. morning. It's great to be here. How are you? Good. How are you? I am doing well, and we are excited to have you here. So Hazel has been dying to answer this burning question. So Hazel, please meet Matt. Matt, meet Hazel. Matt, so nice to meet you. Yeah, Same here. Listen, don't die on me. You ah. said you were dying to, to ask the question. Oh I got God. enough dead people talking to me. I can't <laughs> deal with anymore. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, I am so interested in this. When did you realize that you had the gift, and what was it that made you realize? You know what? Something's so, off it, that you weren't just some, you know, th having voices in your head. So it's crazy because literally growing up, I grew up that little like that little boy from the sixth sense. I grew up seeing and hearing the departed. Really? But, you know, just being three, four, five years old, I never knew that I was a psychic or a medium. I literally just thought that the house was haunted. And <laughs> in the beginning, Hazel, I was afraid. I remember, you know, sitting in my bedroom at night, yelling and screaming and crying and ask, asking my parents, you know, to come in and, and, to, and to, you know, help me make the voices stop. Wow. Because I didn't know what it was. Mm. But, you know, looking back on those times, I realized now that these were just souls in the nearby area that were using me as a way to try to get a message back to their family. And the one thing that I regret, Hazel, is I wish that I would have listened more when I was a little kid. I wish that I would have oh. listened to those spirits and delivered those messages because I know now that those were souls that just wanted to help the living. There weren't souls that were coming to scare me. They were just using me because they knew that I had a way to communicate with them. Wow. wow. How do you know, though? Like, right? Yeah. Are you just walking down the street and all of a sudden you hear something? Like, what? And, and what does it sound? Yeah. Know, does it sound, sound, sound like? What does it sound like? Is it your own? Do so you hear first your of own all, voice? So first of all, let's start with this: is that everybody has a way to connect with the other side, right? Some of us have psychic dreams where we'll, we'll sense our loved ones in our dreams and receive messages through our dreams. Some of us will actually feel our loved ones in spirit with us. Some okay. of us will receive signs where we'll know our loved ones are with us from the signs. And some people like me who have a heightened sense of psychic ability or mediumship will receive messages in a different way. Now, I want to let you know that every psychic medium is different. There's some mediums that connect with pets. There's some mediums that are medical mediums. The way that my ability works is that I will see the departed. So what happens is, is I see shadows and silhouettes that are behind a person, and that tells me who I need to connect with. Mm. But... When I'm out, like, for example, when you see me give readings on television yeah. and I'll be out, you know, at the store or whatnot, well, literally what happened is souls will come to me and tell me to, to deliver a message, but they don't speak the way that we speak here in this world. You know, what I receive as a medium is quick bits of information. It's literally fast information that comes to me, like what happens, like mm. they'll say to me, um, for example... I'll say to them, excuse me, what happened? They'll say quick illness. I'll say, you know, what do you mean? They'll say heart attack. And then I'll start to feel oh, what that wow. person went through here in this world. If that person had a lung issue, I'll start to feel issues with, with you know, my lungs. I'll start to feel a little tingling sensation wow. here. So they use a different way to communicate because they're in a different world. Wow. So you actually hear voices. I do. I do. The whole thing with the shadows behind him gives me Is there anything the behind us that we should know about? <laughs> yeah, do you see anything well, behind us? Yo, well, Dan, you, know, you asked the question, and right away I have this soul that's here that's with you. It's actually your grandfather that's here because he showed me military uniform when I'm connecting. So he was in the military here in the physical, and he's sitting right behind you when I'm connected with him. He actually oh. tells me there was a watch that was kept. So your family has his watch here in the physical world. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do because my dad wears it every single day. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. He's... He said to me, please let him know, thank you for everything that you did for me. He says, and more importantly, I'm so happy that he wears my watch because he's bringing that up. Oh. He tells me that at the end, 
Listen, I don't mean to freak you out, but he tells me at the end he couldn't speak. There was issues with him communicating at the end, and therefore he did not get to say goodbye to everybody the way that he wanted to. He says, please let him know that I'm fine. He also wants to tell you this, John as well. He's telling me John. So yeah. I don't know if that was his friend or who that would be, but that soul is also there with him on the other side. And I also hear Will. Is Will or um, Bill or William? Who's that? Oh, uh, gosh, I don't know. You're just throwing me through a whole <laughs> loop right here. Sorry, listen. As fast as, fast as, they're talk as fast I'm talking to you is as fast as they're talking to me. Wow. Because literally what happens is, is they start bombarding me with all of, these, all of these visions and things of their life. And your grandfather just said to me, he says, please let your dad know, he says, that I love and care about him so much. He says, oh. I wish I would have gotten to tell him how much that I loved and cared about him here in this world. But his ability, his uh, illness stopped that ability at the end. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Well, wow. you guys take this. this. Been, Matt, I have to Listen, tell I'm you. Listen, I'm sorry. Listen. No, when you're don't asking, apologize. We don't apologize. So grateful for We you. have had many people with your gift on this broadcast, and none of them have been as forthcoming as you have been. For example, I have often asked, how do you commune? The fact that you said they speak to you in little blips, no one has ever said that. So thank you for illuminating this for us. And now we are all freaking out, or, or at least... No. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Maybe a sense of solace. I don't know. But do you do you ever um, do you ever get a chance to shut your brain off? Do you ever get a chance no. to just say it's wow. so? How, so what I do you do? I try to live a normal life. I try to live a normal life, but I can't because this is my life. You know, it's like it's like being the twenty-four hour call center for the dead. You know, every waking moment. <laughs> oh, and it's funny because I feel like <laughs> I feel like I talk to other people's loved ones more so than my own. But oh, what man. I do want to teach people is that you have your own way to connect with your loved ones. You know, anytime that you get a coincidence, yeah. okay, it's not a coincidence. It might be a sign from spirit. For example, you know, they reach us in so many different ways. They'll send us repeating numbers like 1111. Mm -hmm. You might mm -hmm. hear songs that remind you of your loved yeah. one. You know, you um, might sense and feel your loved one with you. You might, you might get a dream, and that's all real. And the more that you, you know, tap into that, that connection, the more that you realize your loved ones are truly always there. Uh, Matt, I gotta squeeze this in because you have that new book. We're almost out of time here. It's right behind you. We never die. But you're also on tour, coming to New York City yes. on April 30 at the Palladium. Hold up. I am so excited, you guys. This is my first time ever coming to New York City, okay? And during this event, I'm going to be giving live readings. And wow. I will not stop, okay, until I reach as many people as I possibly can. Now, the one thing that I want you all to know is that it does not matter where you sit at this event. Oh my because gosh. literally, I get off stage, and I'm going to be down in the audience with all of you. So I don't care if you're up in the balcony. I don't care if you're off to the side. <laughs> if there is a message from your loved one, I am coming to Where are you it. from and originally? That's what I love so much. Thank you. I was I'm just from saying. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. You know what, man? Once you get here, trust me, your brain is not going to shut off. Because <laughs> wow. you're in New lot. York. We don't sleep whether we're alive or dead, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, my gosh. That was my so gosh, great. Matt, to thank have you. Him. Really, thank you for that. I'm thank sure my you. grandmother, who is watching, is probably at home crying. Oh. Um, but thank you very much, Matt. And good luck with the good luck coming here to New York City. Good yeah. luck with the third book. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'll see you April 30th at yeah. Palladium. I'm so excited. And please come back. Yes. Please come back and visit with us again. Oh, absolutely. All right. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Wow, you threw me through. Thank it takes you. a lot to get me, Matt, and you got me. My Aww. goodness.